voice. You know, acting legend Morgan Freeman, speaking of voice, is with us this morning. And he's actually here to talk a lot uh, about <laughs> a cause in, in addition to your career. But we're going to talk first about a cause that you're helping out with your dear friend here. Now, a cause that's close to his heart from Clarksdale, Mississippi. And with him is the mayor of Clarksdale, Bill Luckett. Um, this is known as the birthplace of the blues. And Morgan is doing his part to try to help this town kind of bounce out of a recession that a lot of our towns have been going through. Why Clarksdale, Mississippi? Well, Bill is there. That's primarily. <laughs> this is a good friend? Yeah, good friend. And how did you guys meet? How, when, when did you become good friends? Oh, boy. I was building a house, and um, it wasn't going so well. So the project manager said, you probably need a good lawyer. And that's how you met Bill? Look it. Um, how many years ago was that? 17. 17 years? Summer of 96. You got better math than me. I'm got. Uh, yeah, who's got the good <laughs> stories on each other? That might be the real question, right? Mm. Um, speaking of stories, now, there are so many stories, I, I guess, out of Clarksdale, Mississippi, about the blues, and there was some fear that this may be dying out. What did you want to do in terms of that town, and how is Morgan helping? <laughs> Well, we got together, and you know, you can't see the forest for the trees sometimes. Morgan started coming over noticing like I had, but he paid more attention to it. All these tourists coming to town asking, where can we hear live blues music? So we answered that question, and we opened Ground Zero Blues Club. We had our naysayers initially, but uh, we persevered, and we're 12 years in right now, and... Uh, drawing crowds from all over the world. Now, you're the mayor of that town. This was more than yeah, about now, a business, wasn't well, it? This was, yeah, this was, yeah, he just, he, well, he was just elected mayor this year. Yeah, just took office yeah. eight weeks ago. <clears throat> but the, the project was more than about just running a club. Give me the context of why this mattered to the town, Morgan. Well, I, I'm, I don't, I'm not sure we were thinking at the time about uh, rejuvenation or revitalization of the town, but after we built the club and then we, we built uh, opened the restaurant and then we got to thinking this is going to draw and so uh, what we will do is we have to figure out a way to accommodate tourists uh -huh. so that we started that probably the year after uh, camp, sort of a campaign. Now, um, for, for folks who didn't grow up in that region, they might go Clarksdale, Mississippi, or if you don't know blues history, what is the history of Clarksdale when it comes to um, its heritage of music? It's the epicenter. It's ground zero for blues music. Uh, it's the birthplace of John Lee Hooker, Ike Turner, Sam Cooke, all the blues greats have played there. Muddy Waters lived right outside of town. Anybody who was anybody in the blues music came through there. Robert Johnson sold his soul to the devil to play blues guitar at our crossroads, our intersections of 49 and 61 highways. And so uh, it, it's, it's everything, and it's our gift to the world. You know, blues, they say, had a baby, and they named it rock and roll. <laughs> Even hip-hop comes from blues music. Maybe some of your music. Ask Kevmo. Country. Mo. Ask Kevmo. Yeah, <laughs> Kevmo is on my album. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Country and blues and rock all related yeah, somehow. It, 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 it has in... I started to say infested. It, uh, it, it yeah. does have the, rep the reputation of being the grandparent mm -hmm. of American music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now, um, I, I wanted to tell people that we sent some cameras along um, to Clarksdale, Mississippi, for a little bit about the history and how perhaps one town coming around might be a great example to other towns exactly. and mayors who might be watching as well. So that's going to be on American Journeys here on this network on September 8th on HLN. So that is hosted by Ty Pennington. And so September 8th, 1 p.m., American Journey will take you to Clarksdale, Mississippi. Guys, what do you think, um, as I, I know this is not a done project, there's still a lot to be done, but what can other towns perhaps learn or take away from what's happening in your town? I travel a lot. I meet an awful lot of people. I and bet. They say, well, you're from where now? I said, I'm from Mississippi. They say, I've never been there. So my quest is to say to people, you've not lived until you've come through Mississippi. This is probably, we say, the epicenter of the blues. It also, people who come to Clarksdale or come to Mississippi say, oh, I've never met people so open, so 
friendly. Mm -hmm. Southern hospitality. We still have it. So but what? Other, what can other, other towns cities, do? You think they need to capitalize on their strengths? You know, we had a built-in strength, blues. Yeah. Other cities have built-in strengths. They need to recognize them and capitalize on them. Every Good city's advice. got something unique about it. Our whole delta in Mississippi is rather unique. We're a real. Uh, Place of interesting culture. So, Bill, you you really held your own here against a, a guy who is a communicator for a living. Uh, so I didn't good. Do it on the golf course against you two yesterday. <laughs> you can check out our Twitter feed for that at Rob.